everyone. So for this week's vlog, I'm going to answer two very specific questions. What is a music producer and why do you need one? I've been working with a producer since I was 13, 14, 15 years old, something like that. And I have learned so much from all the producers I've worked with. You know who you are. Now, you might be asking, why am I here in the middle of the woods? Well, I came out to Memory Town, Pennsylvania to work with a music producer. Hello! Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you too. <laughs> Welcome to the studio. Now, Pennsylvania is a state that I've come to over the years, almost every weekend when I was little, but I never expected to find such a gem in the middle of the woods. I'm at the house of Gary Workcamp, musician, songwriter, music producer. We're gonna go inside. <laughs> Let's produce some music. Uh, welcome to the scarf club. I'm glad you, you Oh well, yes, I am a scarf addict. Like I have so many scarves. You can't have too many scarves. <laughs> According to the internet, to Google, a music producer is a recording project's creative and technical leader, and in popular genres, typically creates the song's very sound and structure. A music producer creates every aspect of a song down to the very instrument. Nowadays, there are beats, there are apps, you can just send an email to a producer with your idea and they'll send it back to you. You can teach yourself to produce, and unfortunately, you don't get the same experience. So we are in Gary Workham's studio. You know, everyone's getting beats offline and on apps now, so... Uh, my, only pro my only problem with that is the sounds are all uh, pre-canned, like you can just grab yeah. something that's already produced, so you actually already are using sounds that are produced. Yeah. So everybody sounds We're great. We're borrowing from each everybody other. Everybody can sound great immediately, but no one's learning the process of, you know, I, right. how do I get that big snare drum sound, or how do I, you know, come across this keyboard sound, or, you know, so there's, there's value in the knowledge of that, so when you move forward, you're not just always grabbing. But, the technology is great that you can have an idea and at least make it sound pretty cool, like in, you know, half right. hour. So, why do you need a music producer? For me, this is what it means. Number one, lots and lots of learning. Well, the, the first thing is to, to gain the experience of somebody who's been there and done it so many times that they know the pitfalls that somebody may find. But a much bigger reason is going to be to bring out the best in somebody. I learn so much with a music producer, down to the way that music works, music theory, how technology works when you're producing a song, how your own song works, and its structure. I learn about my vocal style in the recording booth, how using a microphone works. There's so many useful things that you can learn from someone who probably has twice the amount of experience as you. Number two, saving time. Some people are able to do that on their own, but I always find having a human interaction and being comfortable with somebody and creating and bouncing ideas off each other is, is a really good process for making something, you know, be magical. Right. Like, I know that a long time ago, I tried to produce my own music. I also ended up producing some songs for the graduation show for my mom's uh, acting school. And oh my God, did it take me hours upon hours. My hand was hurting by the end of it. And it took me forever. With two people, you can get twice the amount of productivity. Number three, making the best product possible. Like we're not here to, to produce something that's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gotta be magical, emotional. Every second's gotta be like, wow. And that's, that's kind of hard to do, even with the producer, but right. you know, the producer's gonna know how to work it to get it to that point. So you're not wasting your time or money. And, you know, so if we're not gonna be our best, who are we gonna be? Now, I mentioned before that this person might have twice the amount of experience as you. Not only will this person know how to make your product incredible, but also you get a second opinion. Sometimes two sets of ears are what you need to make your product the best that it can be. Plus, you don't always know everything about production. I know I don't. I'm horrible with technology. But even if you are great with technology, you might not always know everything. So you always have to keep that in mind, especially as a musician. Number four, having fun. We're very serious here. Very serious. That'll be very serious. difficult for me since I laugh after every sentence. <laughs> I will ask you every other question, short one sentence answers, so you only laugh all the time. No, that doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you really getting this on 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you always hear about those late night sessions where you stay up all night and you write songs, then you produce songs, then you write some more songs. Well, that's what it's like to produce with a music producer. It's so much fun, you make a friend, and I have an example of me and Gary writing four songs in a row. This is one of those tiny little fun things that we took a break from listening to my music to do. <laughs> No, you have to pay for a music producer. Maybe you don't, it could be a collaboration, but if you do want to pay and you want to do something that's work for hire, which means that you pay the producer to do the work for you and they don't take a, a big percentage of your song, but you may just find the perfect one that fits both your budget and your style. So don't lose hope, do a ton of research and you might just find that perfect fit. And who knows, maybe they'll even connect you to other people in the music industry. Which leads me to number five, networking. You never know who you might meet, especially with a music producer who probably has worked with tons of artists and tons of people over the years. So it's always good to just make connections. Even if you end up not working with that music producer, why not just make that connection and get to know him or her? Thanks for watching. For some more information on music, please check out my next few vlogs. And by the way, if you saw last week's vlog, or if you didn't, my music video comes out on April 10th for My Brother, Big Brother. I'm so excited to share it with all of you. Magnus Video Productions, thank you so much for taking charge on this project. So just stay tuned. This was my little blurb on music production. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe below. I'm looking forward to this process, and this is our first session, and uh... Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, let's have some fun. <laughs>